Hey guys, what's up? Time to review AVX round five. Now, AVX, uh, very odd series so far. Liked it way better than I thought I would, and more than a lot of people. But at the end of the day, it still has kind of come to the chopping block almost every week I've bought it as far as if I'm going to continue to buy it. And this is a prime example why. This issue, I loved the beginning, and I loved the end. But a lot of the middle, I just kind of felt bored. Uh, also start off with it, uh, they're three ninety nine, and I feel like, I know a lot of people feel like it, but this comic should not be three ninety nine. There's, uh, not a lot of material here at all. It's three ninety nine for the namesake alone. And, well, I guess they claim it's three ninety nine because it comes with a free digital copy, but that's, yeah, that's whatever. It's cool to have, and it's cool that they're doing that, but they're not going to gain or lose any money by, uh, with that alone. They're going to lose money. Meh, it won't be a lot. But anyway, it's a whole different, whole other story. I'll just stick to the review of this one. Anyway, this is Hope finally coming face to face and basically meeting the Phoenix Force. And it does take some turns I didn't expect. The beginning, it has comparisons to Hope being the uh, bombardier that dropped the atomic bomb and Phoenix being the atomic bomb. And it's a really cool comparison. And it starts off, this issue started off really really good I love the beginning of it and it ends really strong too but the middle although interesting we we're talking about how now this has just become about them fighting just to fight I like the idea and I do think this is probably the best issue so far and I did enjoy it uh, but I still think there's a lot more they could be doing with the series a lot more I personally am kind of getting tired of all the hero versus hero action comics uh I kind of want to know what all the villains are doing right now, which is very odd. But there are some uh, cool moments in here, and uh, it is starting to feel like a bigger event. My biggest complaint with AVX so far has been that it just doesn't feel big. It feels like a small comic, it, and I don't know how to explain why, but to me, every time I've read it, it just feels small. It doesn't feel like this big epic. It just feels like a series. But, uh, ABX number 5, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's pretty good. If you've liked the series so far, you'll love it. Uh, if you haven't liked the series, you may want to check it out just to see some ideas. And it does take some twists that I didn't see coming. Or not so much twists as turns. But uh, overall, I enjoyed it. So, ABX number 5, 7 out of 10. See you guys in another review.